Yeah, so this was a uh, retrospective chart review. And, and, and part of that is to look for information in the real world uh, and see what actual utilization is occurring. So the uh, abstract we presented was real world effectiveness and safety of a fatnib following immunotherapy in combination with chemotherapy uh, in the treatment of patients with squamous uh, uh, lung cancer. And this was uh, done through uh, Cardinal Health which is a, a large uh, organization, health organization, and uh, physicians were uh, voluntarily uh, abstracted data from medical records. Uh, and what uh, they were looking for were any patients who had advanced non-small cell lung cancer, either who had squamous or mixed histology, uh, and they had to have received first-line treatment with uh, pembrolizumab with a platinum-based chemotherapy. And then uh, uh, after that, the therapy had to either be with second line afatinib or chemotherapy. And so second line afatinib has a FDA indication for treatment uh, in that setting. The, the results showed that uh, 200 patients were found via this uh, retrospective review. Uh, 99 of them had been treated with second line afatinib and 101 were treated with second line chemotherapy. So this was uh, predominantly a squamous histology uh, patient population. There were some uh, mixed histologies in there as well. And uh, they looked at uh, both uh, what were the incidence of immune related AEs. And in fact, there were uh, six of patients who did have them um, uh, in the second line of fatinib uh, arm. Uh, and, uh, um, and so this was uh, followed uh, once a fatinib was given as well. And, and what we tried to see is whether there was a increase in a decrease in efficacy or an increase in, in side effects uh, with the, the administration of an EGFR.